What's up, weirdos? Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm so glad you're here. Wait till you see what I have to show you. This is what I received in PR from Color My World. This is a collab between Color My World and Sip and Dip, my girl Chelsea, one of my besties. I am so incredibly honored and excited and proud to show you guys what they came up with. Oh my gosh. So here's the box. Here's the little card it comes with. It is absolutely adorable. It is so on brand. This is also going to be kind of a first impression of Color My World. And I'm also going to show you how to do a super simple scrub ombre with dip liquids and dip powder with two pretty contrasting colors, which I know can be a struggle. So we're going to figure it out. Back to the box. Did you see the silicone squishy cup? I'm so excited about it. That comes in the box if you order this collection. It also comes with a file, a cute little lollipop, which is already gone. <laughs> Shocker. And she throws in these extra goodies in every single order. Now, I know you guys want to see the colors, so I'm going to show you all the colors. There are five in this collection. I'm also going to be using the Color My World liquids, and she sent over also her Precision Cuticle Tool, which I will be using. This is kind of going to be a Color My World X Sip and Dip video. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. But wait until you see the ombre. It is literally one of my favorite manis that I have ever done. I am still wearing it. I am still obsessed. I love it literally to pieces and it's so versatile. You can use this with so many different colors, but I thought it would be perfect for fall. Can you even with these shades, by the way? Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna throw a picture up here on the screen of the colors all swatched out and we're gonna get right into the dip application. I'm gonna start off with one full dip of this beautiful milky pink color. It's called Chelsea. <laughs> I'm going to get that on every single nail. So my first impression of the Color My World liquids, I really like this base, y'all. If you haven't tried it yet, I would encourage you to do so. It is absolutely super easy to work with. It is medium thin, medium dry time. It stays where you put it. I am pouring over because um, extensions. And this was the moment where I regretted all my life choices. I cannot believe I knocked Chelsea over. I'm so sorry, Chelsea. I hope she's not watching this, although I know she is. I'm sorry. I did manage to salvage it. Everything is fine. It's fine. We're all fine. <laughs> so I'm going to pour over on every single nail. I'm going to go and grab my Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. Now I am going to use, as you're going to see here in a minute, a more compact eyeshadow brush. I guess you would call it a packing eyeshadow brush if you're in the makeup world, maybe. I am, I'm not, so I could be wrong. But I don't want to use a fluffy, I want to use a compact. And that is because I want to scrub. If I were doing a tap, I would use a fluffier brush. I'm going to grab the Merlot. And that's super contrasting, I know. Don't be scared, it's going to be fine. So I'm going to dip into the Merlot with this compact eyeshadow brush. Wet and Wild, super cheap, a dollar on Amazon. And I'm gonna start tapping it and scrubbing it into the free edge of three of these nails. Now this is where trust the process kind of kicks in because this is gonna take some time. And I am not gonna show you the entire thing because it did take me a good few minutes to scrub this in really well, but it is gonna take some time. And it's where patience comes in trust the process comes in. This may take a little bit of elbow grease, but I promise you it is worth it. Wait till you see the end. And it's super simple. We're just scrubbing. We're just, we're just scrubbing. That's all we're going to do. We're going to scrub and we're going to scrub until you get it where you want it. Once you have it approximately where you want it, then we're going to move on and do the rest of the nails. Now I know this is not what it's going to look like. It's not because we're going to do another whole layer. I'm going to dust off access and do this all over again. And it's really in the second coat where you're going to see this all kind of come to life. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did. I'm going to do another full dip of Chelsea. Every time I say that, it makes me smile. I'm so darn proud of my bestie. So I'm going to do another full dip of the Chelsea. And then we're going to scrub again.
some of you might be wondering if when I put that second coat of Chelsea on all the nails, if it covered up the ombre. No. Why? Great question. Chelsea is more of a milky color, so it's semi-sheer. It's not sheer, but it's semi-sheer. And I find that lighter colors don't really cover up a deeper ombre. So in this case, it was completely safe to do. And we're scrubbing anyway. What, what we're doing essentially is staining that lighter color with the deeper color. Pretty much all we're doing. So I'm going to scrub again over all the nails. If you can see, I'm not sure how well you can tell from the video, I am kind of doing this in a curved style format, if you will. I'm going kind of in the direction of what would be a French manicure, but I'm taking it up and blending it in. Basically, I am scrubbing more on the free edge and then a little bit less and a little bit lighter towards the center of the nail so it has that blend to it, but I did take it up on the sides and have it a little bit lower in the center. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head. If you have questions, let me know down below. Let me know also down below if you follow Sip and Dip on YouTube and Insta. I'll leave all her info down in the box in case you wanna check her out. She's so incredibly talented and yes, I'm biased, but it's also true. And let me know if you've tried Color My World products before. Again, this is my first experience with Color My World and I'm very impressed. Her powders are beautiful. The base liquid is fantastic. We're going to talk about the activator here in a little bit, and then I'm going to tell you about her top coat. I know I talk a lot about clear encapsulation and how sometimes it's necessary, sometimes it's not. This is one of those instances where you definitely want to encapsulate with something. I don't care what you encapsulate with. You can use clear dip powder or acrylic, which I'm going to do. You can use um, gel base coat. You can use builder gel, whatever you're comfy with encapsulating with use that but this is something you want to encapsulate because when you go to file and shape and buff you do not want to disturb the beautiful ombre that took you a while to create right right i don't want to so i'm going to go ahead and do a dip in clear and then we're going to activate So once I have everything encapsulated and I did scrub off all of the excess clear to make sure I didn't have any speckles in my finished look, I'm going to activate. This is the Color My World Activator. Now this activator, just so you all know, if you go and you pick up anything from Color My World, if you pick up their activator or any of their liquids, the activator is a slow dry. You're gonna have to let this sit for a good four to five minutes before you go near your nails with a nail file, just so you guys have a heads up. For me, not a big deal because after I activate, I tend to clean up my workstation anyway. So I'm occupied and not bored, or I have Netflix playing, y'all know how I do. So once the activator sets, I went ahead and did all my filing and shaping and buffing. And now we're gonna go in. I was gonna top coat, but I said, you know what? I feel like this needs a little something. So I'm grabbing this beautiful champagne glitter from the collection, and we're gonna do the teeniest, tiniest, most minuscule little smatter of glitter. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that by applying a little bit of gel base coat. I didn't have a gel base from Color My World, so I'm using the Model 1s. I'm gonna put this on all of the nails and I'm gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm barely going to dip it into the glitter. I mean, barely. And then I'm going to ever so gently tap it over each of the nails towards the center to cuticle area. I'm avoiding the free edge completely. And again, this is where creativity comes in and you can do whatever you want, but this is what I did. Tiniest little smattering of glitter. I'm going to give that a 60 second cure. I always cure longer than suggested just to play it on the safe side. I don't want a gel allergy. I'm sure you guys don't want one either. So 
I double my cure time. You can't over cure gel, so not a big deal. And then I'm going to top coat over that. If you wanted to do this without using gel at all, I would probably tell you to smatter on your little bit of glitter before activation, only because with dip liquids, it's a little bit more difficult to get everything right with timing and it could be a little sensitive and it might even be a little bit textured because dip liquids are thinner than gel. The glitter for me was a total afterthought, which is why you see me doing it this way, but you can absolutely get this entire look with using dip liquids only. So after a gel top, here's the finished look. I could not love this more for so many reasons. I'm pretty sure y'all know my thoughts on all this stuff. If you are interested in anything that I use in the video, I will leave everything linked down below. Thank you so much to Amber and Chelsea for sending this over to me. I'm so incredibly honored and grateful to have had the opportunity to play with it. And congratulations on such an amazing collab. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.